This is a story about the six essential nutrients. Once upon a time, there were two friends walking and they were arguing about who was better. Vitamin was one of them. I'm the best because I'm an organic substance derived from plants or animals, which are necessary for growth and development. I am good for the immune system. I help with blood clotting and I help maintain healthy skin. That's why I am vibrant vitamin. No way, said Mineral. I am an inorganic element found in soil and water. I'm absorbed by the plants and then you absorb me through the plants you eat, the water you drink, or animal sources that have absorbed me as well. I help keep the brain healthy. I am good for the bones and for the heart. Well, I have two types of vitamins. I have the water soluble vitamins, which pass through the bloodstream and get used up immediately. Or if there's extra, I get absorbed by the kidneys and are excreted through urination. Then there's the fat soluble vitamins. I dissolve in the body's fat where I'm stored for later use. These are vitamins A, D, E, and K. I am the best. Well, I also have two. I have macro minerals and I have trace minerals. Macro minerals, you need lots of. The trace minerals, you just need very little of. I am the best. Well, I have the soil that gets absorbed in, the trees, maybe a little plant right here. While the two were arguing, along came water. And he had a good laugh, because he knew they both were essential and necessary. Now water is everyone's friend. Water is necessary for most bodily functions. It helps your body maintain normal temperature, cushion and lubricate joints, protects the spinal cord and other tissues. Gets rid of waste, moves oxygen, nutrients, waste, etc. Water does so much. And water was over here having a good laugh at the other two. <laughs> and then along came the fat olive. He was just looking for a place to sit. Now fat is a type of energy source and it's very important. There are th four types of fat. There's saturated fat from animals, meat, dairy products. Saturated fat is usually solid at room temperature. Then we have unsaturated fat and that is our plant-based. Vegetable oils, peanut butters, margarines, this olive right here, salad dressing, nuts and seeds. All unsaturated fat. This is liquid at room temperature. Then we have trans fat. This is a terrible, terrible, terrible fat. Avoid it at all costs. It was created by hydrogenation and it poses a ton of risks and it has now been banned from food. Sometimes listed as partially hydrogenated oil on ingredients list. Please watch out for that. Then we have cholesterol. That's a type of fat that the body does make. Uh, but sometimes you can get it from food as well. Too much of it can increase your risk for heart disease, high blood pressure, and stroke. So there's four little hairs for the four types of fat. Then another friend came along and he was on a jog. 
He is our carbolicious bagel. And he's a carbohydrate. This is a major source of energy. He's got a lot of it, so he's running. He just climbed this mountain of minerals. Sugars are a simple carbohydrate. They are made naturally in foods, including fruit, maple syrup, and dairy products. Fiber is a complex carbohydrate. It is unable to be digested, found in plant-based food. It helps to lower cholesterol, balance sugar levels, adds bulk to the stool, and keeps you fuller longer. Starches are also a complex carbohydrate. That's what this bagel is. Found in bread, pastas, cereals. Also can be found in vegetables. You hear starchy vegetables like potatoes, peas, corn. Last but not least, we have protein. Protein builds and repairs muscles and organs. This also includes bone, skin, hair, fingernails. Protein does so much work, he's going to sit back and relax. All proteins are made up of a smaller chemical unit called amino acids. There are non-essential amino acids, that is what your body will produce, and then there are essential amino acids, and this your body needs to obtain through the food you eat. And he He's just relaxing here. Give him a belly button. And we're going to give him one hair for the amino acids. We're going to have him drinking some water because that is essential. So we have the three essential nutrients, vitamins, mineral, and water. These have no calories. They provide no energy. A calorie is a unit of energy. But the ones up here, fat, carbohydrates, and protein, all provide energy. So those are our macronutrients, and they provide us energy. We have our fat here. We have our carbohydrate. I forgot to add three little hairs. We have sugar, fiber, and starch. And car bowl hydrates. And these are the six essential nutrients that your body needs. Let's just recap what we learned. We have vitamins, minerals, and water. None of these essential nutrients will give you any calories or energy. Calorie is a unit of energy. We have fat, carbohydrates, and protein. Make sure you write protein. I got earlier. They are the macronutrients, and they will provide calories. So you get calories from fat, carbohydrates, and protein. So your vitamins, they help the body grow and develop normally. They help with blood clotting, the immune system, and the maintenance of healthy skin. Your minerals help your bones, your muscles, heart, and brain work properly. We have water. Our bodies are up to 60% water. Helps in digestion, absorption, circulation, creation of saliva, transportation of nutrients, and maintenance of body temperature. Then we have fat that protects the cells in the body. Carbohydrates gives body the energy and fuel the body needs. And protein that builds and repairs muscles and organs. And together, these are the six essential nutrients.